Switch hitting outfielder Buddy Reed from the University of Florida, by many mock drafts, is slotted to go in the first half of the first round. Due to a low collegiate crop of position players, Reed is going to be drafted on sheer athleticism. We're going to look at him from the mechanical standpoint and see why some of the scouts are a little bit leery of drafting Buddy Reed so high because of his questionability at the plate. From the mechanical side, he has a lot of things to clean up. I comp him most to Jason Hayward with sheer athleticism, defensive ability, and really at the collegiate level, what Reed has been able to do is he's fast enough to outrun his mistakes. His natural side is his right side, but even from the right side, what I see Reed doing is failing to hold resistance in the upper body, failing to get a good coil, a good spring around his body, and thus he disconnects his upper body from the lower body in the swing, causing length in the swing. After watching many clips, I feel like Reed has questionable pitch recognition and early commits to the ball. Coupled with a longer swing path, and you'll often see him get jammed on velocity in, and rolling over weakly on off-speed pitches away. This is where I say he's fast enough to outrun some of these weak ground balls on a collegiate infield. From the left side, his mechanics are a little bit simpler and cleaner. Though he has less lower body explosiveness from the left side, so less power potential from that side as well. But what I see him doing from the left side is getting decent separation, the lower body does start the swing, but oftentimes he'll get his hands caught behind his upper body or his torso, and this will cause him to get jammed on velocity, and the same thing occurs from the right side when he casts his hands and gets a little bit long at times, rolling over balls left-handed as well. So what we're going to have to see Reed do is get first more efficient in his lower body mechanics. He's got to create more of a coil around his rear hip. Then the ability to hold resistance in the upper body will tighten the coil around his core, filter into his scap, and then you can use the dynamic athleticism that Reed has, which will increase his bat speed, allow him to make later committal to the ball, but he'll still have to work on the pitch recognition phase. To me, this leads to a high draft pick that's going to have many struggles in the early parts of professional baseball. Whether or not he's able to overcome this learning period, this learning curve, on his way to higher level professional baseball is yet to be determined. So choosing Reed in the higher part of the first round is a gamble for a team. You're taking a player with great athleticism and assuming then that he can make the needed adjustments from the mechanical phase as a hitter while at the same time facing professional level pitching for the first time. Buddy Reed may be athletic enough to make his way to the big leagues one day, but for me, there's higher risk than there is reward with him being a first round pick.